Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel e-commerce project tutorial for beginner. So in the previous tutorial, we have made this search option. So from this tutorial, we are going to work on the front end part. So right now, let me just log out from here. And this is called the front end part. And from this tutorial, I work on this front end part. And first of all, we are going to do one thing that is we are going to redirect the user to the same page when they log in. So right now, if I now click on login and then login as a user, so I'll say here user at the of gmail.com, then give the user password. And after that, if I now click login, it will take us to this dashboard. So what we want is that when we log in as a user, it will keep the user on the same page. So in the URL, you notice that after login, it took us to the dashboard. So right now, what we do is, We'll go back to the forward and we'll go to our web.php and here you can see we have raw get slash dashboard and here we are returning to the view return view dashboard so here we stop return view dashboard we are going to return the user to this view and this view is coming from uh if we now just go to the views inside views we have home folder and inside home folder we have index.play.php and we have the CSS section, header section, slider, product section, contact section, and the footer section. So whatever you are seeing over here is coming from the index.blade.php, which is in the home folder. So here, uh, in the web.php, instead of return view dashboard, we are going to say here, return view home.index. Here you can see home folder and then here you can see the index file. So if we now save, then if we now refresh here, then click on login. And here we are going to give the user email and then the password. And right now if we click on login, it will keep us on the same page. There you can see and in the URL, here you can see slash dashboard. So right now we are logged in, but there is no logout option. So let's go and add a logout option here. So for it, we'll go back to our code. Then let me just go to the layout folder. And inside layout, we have this navigation menu.blade.php. Let me go down. I'm just going to copy a little bit of code from here. Here you can see we have a form here. So let me just copy this form. Then we go to our home. In the inside ball, we have index.blade.php and in the index.blade.php, we have the header section. The header section is, I'm talking about this off. So let me just go to the header section. And in the header section, after, after this register, we are going to have a option called logout. So here, I'm just going to paste the code that we just copied from the layout navigation main.blade.php. I'll just paste it over here. And here I'm going to remove this drop down. And here I'm going to say input type it will be submit. And we we'll say here hello it will be log out. So right now if we say and then let me just refresh here. And there you can see we right now have a logout option. We'll fix our design a little later. So here you can see in the URL, we are in the slash dashboard. And if I now click on logout, there you can see it took us back to the front view. So there is one more thing that we should fix and that is currently we are not logged in, but it is still showing us the logout option. So we need to fix it. And uh, we also do not want to see the login and registration option when we are logged in. So for it, we just need to write a few lines of code and we can just copy that code from our welcome.blade.php. So we'll go to our welcome.blade.php. Let me just go down a little bit. And here you can see we have a condition. If route has login, we have a auth condition. If there is any auth, there is a else condition. If there is no auth, it means there is no user login. Then it will go to the else condition and show the login and register option. So I'm just going to copy this if route has login. I'll copy it and then I'll go to header.bait.php and 
So after this div, I am going to give a if condition, uh, which will be this one if route has login. Then we we'll set here at the top auth. If there is any logged in user, then let me just cut this from here and paste it here. So if there is any logged in user, then show this logout option. Then we we'll send here at the end of else. If there is no logged in user, then show us this login and register button. So right now we need to close this if condition and auth condition. So here. After this register and got that, we say at the dog il auth, then we say they are at the dog il e. So this indeed for this all if condition and this auth indeed over here. And this is just the else condition. So right now, if we say then you press here, there, guess there is no logout option right now. If I click on login, then let me just log in as a user, give the Password here, then click login. There you can see we are only seeing the logout option right now. So right now let's go and change some design for this logout button. Let's go back and here uh, for this form, we can just directly say here a style and in this style where we will say padding, uh, it will be 10 ps save it. Then refresh and there you can see there is now a little bit of padding. And let's also change the button design. Let's add, use a bootstrap class not to change the button design. So here in this input field, where we'll say class, it will be BDN, BDN, uh, let's say success, save, then refresh here, and there you go. We have this logout button design right now. And if we now click on logout, it will take the user to the root view and here we have the login and the register option. So let's also hide this part as well when the user is got logged in. So, so right now here you can see we have the anchor tag and this search option. So I will just remove this search option from here. And let me just cut this anchor tag, the shopping cart. And I will paste it before the logout button. So I'll paste it here and let's make the padding to 15 px if you now save refresh here there you can see there is no the shopping and the search option let's go and click on registers let's say here user keep the password here click on login and there you go so right now let's go and try to register a user we we'll register a user click on register Let's say here it will be Yamin, then Yamin at the rate of gmail.com, brand of phone number, brand of address, then give a password here and confirm password. We can register. And there you can see after registering, it will do bash cookies place. So this is all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll show the product from the database table. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any question or any suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.